Welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa Caprio. Do you believe in magic? What if you were told that all you had to do was get a little creative and work a magic spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Here on Postcards to the Universe, we will share manifesting, tips, postcards, creativity, abundance, and prosperity. Here is your host, Melissa Caprio. Everybody and welcome to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life doing today. Uh, I hope that everybody is doing well. It's November sixth. It was the day after the election, so I do know that some people are very happy, and then some people are not very happy. <laughs> um, so today I have Daniel Packard as my guest and he's going to join me in just a few minutes and really interesting and it just kind of fell that way. Daniel actually is an expertise on dealing with anxiety. So there's a lot of people, um, I've talked to a lot of people today that are suffering anxiety, especially about the election. And we're not going to get into the politics of the election, but I do want to talk about the anxiety people are feeling and then hopefully he can help us with that. So um, to my regulars, I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me each week. It means the world to me. And if you are new turning into my show, welcome. You're listening to us live. If you're listening on November 6th at 4 p.m. Eastern time, if you like the show, you can always go into the archives. Own Times Radio puts all the shows up or a replay and you can see which guests I have and there's a description and on every show and you can go back and listen to some old shows. I also take the show and put it up on postcards to the universe.com in the podcast section of the show and you can listen to any shows there. A little bit about me. I'm an artist, I'm a photographer and I'm an author and I have a book and it's titled uh, Postcards to the Universe, Harness the Universe's Power and Manifest Your Dreams. And I talk all about manifesting in the book and manifesting the life that we desire. And I take photographs of people's manifesting postcards and I uh, share their stories when what they put on their postcard shows up in the reality. There's 30 of those in my book and you can find the book on Barnes and Noble or Amazon. And it's been so much fun doing it. And I've actually re-photographed all the postcards. I've shared those all over my social media and I'm always asking people to send me a manifesting postcard. So if you're interested in sending one, please do so. Um, you can reach out to me if you have any questions, but I do give you an idea of how to create one and where to send it on postcards to the universe.com. Okay, so let me get to my guest today, Daniel Packard. So he is a UC Berkeley mechanical engineer who, after spending 10 years and over $100,000 trying to improve his anxiety, low confidence, and procrastination, he saw that all the money and time got him was the ability to manage what he struggled with, but he was never truly free of it. And Daniel was trained in engineering school to solve complex problems. He started his own research technology to see if it was possible to reverse engineer a way for people to not only be permanently free of what holds them back, but have it be simple and easy to do and guaranteed to work. After eight years working with 3,000 people on five continents and over a million dollars of research and testing, Daniel and his team succeeded in reverse engineering an innovative process that allows their clients to be completely free of what holds them back as in little as six weeks with a 90% success rate. That's a great success rate. And speaking of results, because Daniel has benefited from the system he helped create for the last 10 years, he is 100% anxiety free and wakes up every morning not caring what people think of him and loving who he sees in the mirror. Welcome, Daniel. It's so wonderful to have you with me today. Well, thank you so much for having me, Melissa. And as you were doing your beautiful, timely intro, and I thought, oh, it is the day after the election. <laughs> and the work that we do, I just do feel, is connected to sort of what the universe does want for us because we're allowing people to heal. 
at the root cause to be less afraid. And the fact that I have this innovative approach so that people can not only not manage their fear and anxiety and procrastination, but be free of it the day after an election where a good chunk of the country is freaking the F out. I don't know. I think, as we all know, the universe has a good sense of humor. So, universe, I see you. Well played. And I'm here to share a way for people, again, not to manage anxiety. People already have that. This is an understanding of A, why people have the real reason that people have anxiety that's not Mm -hmm. their fault, but also an understanding so they can be free of it, which not only makes you calmer, but allows you to be the happiest person, then allows you to manifest because when we're uh, scared, it's hard to manifest. But also I want to give people listening hope because we need that right now. How's that sound? Oh, yeah. So it, it's actually whichever way it fell, the election fell, there was going to be a group of people that were going to have serious anxiety. And when I was, um, I mean, it, it just fell this way that you actually got <laughs> picked this date to be on my show. Right. And so I figured, well, yeah, because I mean, so many people are feeling like, you know, especially if they are on the losing end and they wanted they wanted her to win and he's again, he's again president. They're freaking out. Like you said, they're freaking the F out. So, it, it, so, and you're saying it's not about us dealing with our anxiety, but it's about what discovering where the anxiety comes from. Cause it comes from inside of our bodies, right? That's where we feel our anxiety. So why don't you share first your own personal story about how you shifted it for yourself? Yeah. So what we discovered was in fact a discovery. And the reason it was a discovery is because I didn't know it. And what we do that's so special and valuable to people is, is our passion for results. I'm an engineer and I care about getting people permanent results, fast results, measurable results. And, and the reason I care about results is because growing up, my dad was a physicist and he sat me down one day when I was 10 and he said, you know, anybody can have a theory or an idea, but you don't know if they know what they're talking about. It's the person that gets results that you should listen to. He said, results matter. And that idea always stuck with me that results matter. And I guess I had a little bit of, you know, inventor in me because as a kid, I would invent things. My dad gave me, he lent me his workshop and I would go in there and like Ferris Bueller and MacGyver, I would make little things and inventions until they worked and got results. And it's very satisfying when you do something and it gets results. So I go to engineering school to learn how to be sort of professionally trained, how to look at complex problems that seem unsolvable, build a prototype, but it never works in the beginning. Then you test it and you work on it until it gets results. And it's a certain mindset and it's a certain training, how to get things that get consistent results. So the good news was, you know, I was trained uh, how to make a robot, you know, that played ping pong, but I was insecure, anxious, uh, low confidence, perfectionist, procrastinator. So I, I knew how to make robots work, but not life work. And, you know, like your audience, I go looking for help. I go to therapists and spiritual teachers and personal development and downloading apps and meditating and praying. And I did so many things for years. And after 10 years, I just, I I had tips and tools and awareness, but, you know, Melissa, the stuff was never gone. I was still kind of anxious sometimes. I still cared what people thought of me. I was still procrastinating. I was still doing it all. And I just thought, I just kind of woke up one day and I just sort of said, oh my gosh, this, this trillion dollar, I call it the improvement industrial complex. They just don't get great results. It's nice. It's insights but nobody's free of it. And I just, I was in a lot of pain and I knew a lot Mm -hmm. of people were in a lot of pain. And so I started my own research company for liberation technology to see, you know, could we do this better? Could we engineer something that was simple, fast? It works for pretty much everyone. And it took eight years. It took, as you said, a million dollars in R and D. We work with 3000 people all over the world. And after eight years, We cracked the code. We basically understood a simple mechanical approach to people's common struggles and a system and an understanding so that you could basically be free of it in six weeks. And it works for nine out of 10 people. And I am, I was one of the first guinea pigs. I was an anxious, insecure, procrastinating, perfectionist, low confidence person. And now I'm just chill as a cucumber 
Uh, I really don't care what people think of me. I can't procrastinate if I tried. I don't care if it's perfect or not. I'm like a kid finger painting every day. And most importantly, what we discovered is it's a system. So we can help other people and we're giving other people their lives back quickly. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking, I am tired of this. I'm tired of the anxiety. I'm tired of the perfectionism. I'm tired of this. Uh, I have Band-Aids, but you want a full life upgrade. I'm going to explain to you, A, why you still have these things and be understanding the root cause so you can be free of it. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds great. Any did questions? You hear me? No, did you hear me? I said, yeah, that sounds uh, great. No, no, no questions at all. I sound okay to you, right? Like I don't, I, you can hear me. Yeah. Uh, one oh. of the benefits of having very little fear is I now live in Mexico in a very, nice place but sometimes the signal cuts out so that's what that was oh okay okay yeah but go ahead yeah please share all right and i'm going to share a couple insights that'll really help your audience one not blame themselves but two understand what they're struggling with in a much more simple way and as your audience listens to this they're going to say well daniel that sounds great but that's not going to work or that's too good to be true. Or maybe it works for others, but it won't work for me. So just to be clear, I'm going to share a bunch. But at the end, before I leave, I'm going to send your audience to get a free training so that they can experience some of our tools for free so they can experience this firsthand because that's what builds trust and hope. So first thing I'll say is when we went to go help people, we looked at the entire industry, therapy, psychology, spirituality, mm -hmm. and even religion. And we looked at all the strategies and the insights and the tools. And what we noticed is it wasn't simple. Okay. It was very confusing. You know, mm -hmm. if you yeah. have fear, is it in my mind? Is it my ego? Is it my mindset? Is it my past? Is it my vagus nerve? Am I praying too much? Am I not praying enough? Should I take an ice bucket challenge? Should I walk on fire? Like it was just there was so many concepts and none right. of them seemed to get the job done. Have you kind of noticed that on some level? Do I? Yes. Personally, when I'm in mine, yes, I'll have, I'll, I'll ask uh, those qu similar questions. Like, it, it, you know, did I do this enough? Am I not doing this? Or should I be doing, it's usually the should ofs. Mine is the should ofs. I should have done this. I shouldn't do this. I should be thinking this way. I shouldn't. I do that to myself. I shouldn't, shouldn't myself. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. can shouldn't, shouldn't yourself all you want. And <laughs> right. even a, a dedicated <laughs> seeker, learner, grower mm -hmm. like yourself in your audience, you're never going to solve it. And I'm going to give you the two major reasons why, which therapists don't want you to know. The okay. first thing is, if, if you want to solve something, really get to the root of it. Uh -huh. If you look at other areas of life where you want to kind of overhaul something, right. usually you don't just want one tool. Usually... Mm -hmm whether it's a mechanic, a dentist, a doctor, a landscaper, what you'll notice is people who really get the job done, they have multiple tools that are optimized to work together. Okay. If you hire, and this is important, does that kind of make sense? If you go to oh, a mechanic. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that makes, a thrower, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't have a flamethrower. They don't have a shovel. They have wrenches. They have right. screwdrivers. Everything's optimized to get one job done. Now, mm -hmm. this is important. Because when I went looking for help, I would go to one expert for one tool. Then I'd mm -hmm. go to another guru for another tool. Then I'd download another app for another tool. And it was all these individual tools. But right. can you see that if you're just getting one tool at a time, you're never going to have everything you need in one place to get the job done. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's another thing missing when we get help from people. So let's say, for instance... You had a friend, and they mm -hmm. tasted a chocolate chip cookie, and they wanted to make a chocolate chip cookie, uh -huh. and they had everything they needed in one place. They had the bowl. They had the whisk. They had the flour. They had the oven. They had the eggs, sugar, everything they needed in one place, okay. but they had no idea how to cook or bake. They had no right. idea. Even though they have everything in one place, could they consistently make a good chocolate chip cookie? Well, no, because they don't, they don't, have, they don't know how to do it. They don't know what they're doing, and they don't know how to do it. Exactly. What they're lacking is instructions. 
Agreed? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Instructions. Right. Absolutely. Right. So it makes total sense. Oh, if I want to get the job done, build an Ikea furniture, bake, even build a deck, you need all the tools and you need instructions. But when I went looking for help from the therapist, the psychologist and the gurus, they would say things like, uh, don't be in the ego so much. Here, breathe. Good luck. Right. Or this person would say, just change your mindset. Good luck. There wasn't precise daily steps. What do I do in what day, in what order, for what sequence, in what timing? And we realized that was a major reason that people weren't solving this is because they weren't set up for success. So if you're listening to this and you've uh -huh. had anxiety and all these symptoms your whole life and you can't get rid of it, I'm telling you, it's not your fault. It's right. that the experts didn't give you all the tools you needed and didn't give you instructions. And so that's why you keep saying, oh, I should have done this and I should have done that. Yeah. And I just want to let you know it's setting you up for failure. And so one of the things that people need that we offer mm -hmm. them is all the tools in one place and the instructions so that it's really simple and really easy to heal the root cause, which I'll get to in a bit. But I wanted to bring that up because I want your audience to not beat themselves up so much and have a bit of hope that you, were, you weren't set up properly for success and that's why you failed, not because you're broken and not that you can't be free of this. I just wanted to say that. I'll go on to okay. where the fear is coming from, but first, do you have any yeah. questions or thoughts? No, I'm thinking exactly about what you're saying, and I'm curious, and I'm going to use what's going on right now as an example. So there's a lot of people right now that are in very dark places of fear, right, because of what's happening, and especially in the United States. Now, we have listeners from all over, and I know they're all watching the U.S., but especially if you're living in the United States, so if you're living in, a, in, in, in deep fear right now and your body is feeling the anxiety of it, right, because you're going through the worst case scenarios and all this is going to happen or all this could happen, and, and, and what you're telling me is, or what I think you're telling me, and you tell, correct me if I'm wrong, is it doesn't matter what's happening outside of us. It's how we handle what's going on inside of us, no matter what is going on outside of us. Is that correct? Well, two things. Yes, that okay. if whatever's going on for you, you don't have the tools and instructions to address it, no matter what approach you have is going to fail. And I'm just bringing right. that up so your audience, it gives them Got some it. hope. The other yeah. thing is 100%. Okay. It feels like, and we're mm -hmm. told that the reason we have the anxiety and the fear is what's going on in the outside world. Right. We helped a lot of people during COVID and they reached out to us and they said, I have all this fear and anxiety because of COVID. Right. Now it right. looks like it, right? COVID was right. scary for a lot of people and you're feeling all this fear or you look out into the country or just the challenges of being a parent, a business owner, life right. can be scary. And then you feel all this fear right. and it looks like it's the outside world. Okay. Here's the issue though. Okay. The outside world can create a little bit of stress in you. It's called the stress response. Okay. And if your finances are unstable or sure. somebody you know is struggling, your body will feel pressure. Okay. You feel the pressure of life. And usually it should be about a 2 out of 10, uh -huh. for, and it should last the duration of the time of the thing, meaning when it's happening, you feel it. Right. However, a lot of people, especially teens, they're not mm -hmm. feeling two out of ten fear and anxiety. They're yeah. feeling eight, nines, and tens. And they don't just feel it in the moment. They can feel it for an hour, two hours the next day, three hours before. And yeah. that is not about the outside world. That is about the inside world. And the metaphor I use to help people understand this is, let's say you're, you haven't mm -hmm. taken care of your teeth. Right. If you don't take care of your teeth, your teeth are going to be fragile because you need like a root canal. They're inflamed. Yes. And it's because you haven't taken care of your teeth. Now, if you yeah. bite into a carrot, uh -huh. in healthy teeth, you should just feel the carrot. You'll feel the pressure of the carrot. Right. But if you bite into a carrot and you feel uh. pain and you feel a spike, do right. you blame the carrot and say, oh, my God, I have adult onset carrot pain disorder? Do you blame the mm. carrot? <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not recently, no. I don't do that. <laughs> That's funny, though, no. when you said that. No. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. No, of course not. No, you wouldn't blame the carrot. Right. And why wouldn't you? You're feeling all this fear and pain. Why wouldn't you blame the carrot? What would you blame? You would blame the not taking care of your teeth. So what I guess is that you're saying exactly. if you're having all this fear and you don't have the right tools 
to handle the anxiety and fear within you, you're going to look at the outside world to blame instead of having complete control over your own anxiety and fear. Right. Okay. 100%. If you don't know about root canals and fragile teeth and you bite into the carrot, it feels like it's the carrot. But of course right. we go, it's not the carrot. The carrot should put pressure, but pain, that's because we haven't taken care of something in the body and now it's fragile. So how does this right. relate to anxiety? The other big mm. thing is to help understand this is that we discovered that we're told that fear and anxiety mm. is a problem of the mind. We're right. told change your mindset, change your right. scarcity mindset, uh, right. stop your, your, your monkey mind and your thoughts. You're told okay. to burn your toe. You're told people take medication. And it's called, for some people, mental health. It's got the word mental right in there. So right. everybody thinks it's a problem of the mind. And that's where okay. everybody's looking and trying to solve it. There's just one problem. We looked at the research and we said this whole mind theory it's not working. It's been around a hundred years and mm -hmm. anxiety's on the rise. So scientists in us says maybe it's not in the mind. And we discovered the mind is part of it, but fear and anxiety don't originate in the mind. They originate in the body and then spread to the mind. Okay. And your audience knows this and you know this. Have you noticed that when you feel calmer, usually mm -hmm. your mind is a bit quieter. And when oh, you sure. anxiety, usually your mind starts spinning. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, all the time. That suggests mm -hmm. that, where do you think the root cause is, the body or the mind? Um, well, I would say the mind. What do you think the root cause is? I would say the mind. I would say it's the monkey mind and the fearful thoughts that cause the body to start feeling the anxiety. But you're, is that what it is? So that's how it feels because you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's it how feels it feels. that way because you can have. Yeah. And you feel fear, and it looks like it. And that's what the right. therapists tell you. Oh, it's your mind. Your mind's your mind. Right. Two things. Spreads to the mind. Because that's the way we're mechanically wired. Your body mm -hmm. tells you what the body needs to stay alive. Then your mind senses the body, and then your mind kicks in and tries to solve it. If you feel hunger, you feel hunger in the body first. Then right. your mind senses the hunger in the body and says, oh, we better go get food. You don't okay. sit around and go, food, food, food. I'm thinking of food. I'm thinking of food. I'm thinking of food. And then you no, feel hunger. Yeah, of so course. So if you're in the jungle and you mm -hmm. hear something in the bushes, you're going to feel fear in your body. Then your mind is going to say, oh, there's a threat. We need to solve the threat. The problem is there's a hidden thing to your audience that's making mm -hmm. the body afraid. And pe nobody knows it. So everybody's body is feeling fear. Then okay. the mind senses the fear and goes, uh-oh, there's a problem out of control creating problems, which then gets you stuck in the cycle, which we call the spin cycle. But can you see that it's possible fear and anxiety doesn't start in the mind. It actually starts in the body and then spreads to the mind. Does that at least make sense? I mean, it makes sense. What you, I understand what you're saying to me in the way that it makes sense. I'm just trying to think about how that would work. Like, if I hear something that's fearful, like the state of our planet, <laughs> how my you're telling me my body is feeling that first and then telling my mind, not my mind is hearing that, seeing that. Um, responding to other people being upset, you know, and then it goes into the body. But you're telling me it's my body first. Right? Am I right in that? It's a really great right question. And because, so 100%. And this isn't just theory. Okay. This is a system that we developed. I okay. used our tool system, and I went from anxious with PTSD, perfectionism, procrastination, which is all fear. Mm -hmm. And I've been chill as a cucumber for 10 years straight, just calm. I wake up every morning feeling calm and safe. And I didn't do a single thing in my mind. Now, here's the thing. It feels, it, it, they're connected and there's a reflex. So mm -hmm. the whole thing fires in like a tenth of a second. So it's okay. hard to really know. But if you think about it, have you ever done breathing exercises? Yeah, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. So breathing in the body Mm -hmm. You 
you calm the body down, the parasympathetic nervous system. And then have you ever noticed when your body's a bit calmer from the breathing, your mind tends to quiet a little bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's because the fear starts in the body. Now, breathing exercise isn't permanent. It's temporary. It's a Band-Aid. But still, right. it shows. Now, here's why this is important. Your audience has been going to the mind. They were right. to the mind. Mindset, mm -hmm. uh, analysis. Uh, awareness, of and course. surprise, surprise, they still have it because it's the symptom. And I want to let your audience know that it's coming from the body. You didn't mm -hmm. know that. So right. the expert sent you to the wrong location, and that's why you haven't solved it. And so can you at least see? I know you can't fully believe me, and that's why I want people to download the free training because they'll feel that it's in their body. But can okay. you at least see that if it's the root causes the body – can you see why that's kind of a big breakthrough? Because if it's the actual root yes. cause, can you see why yeah. that's out? Oh, out? yeah. Well for, well, for sure. Because if your body is, if you can see that it's in the body for that tenth of a second first before it registers into the mind, then, yeah, I can understand how that could be a breakthrough in how to handle, like you said, your you don't let anything. You're cool. At, would you? What did you call, say you do about yourself? You're cool as a cucumber. Is chill as a cucumber. Or Vanessa, chill as a cucumber. As a cu no matter what is going on in the outside world, you you still feel that and way. And I'm you telling wake up you this. We Go had ahead. people understandably terrified during COVID. Of course, because people were dying. Of course, so they come to us. They say, "I'm anxious because right. of COVID." Now, COVID, depending on who you are will create some pressure on your system. But we knew from our research that that's just pressure. So I had a, a woman, an entrepreneur from Washington, Carrie. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. came to us. She had anxiety and people-pleasing. Okay. And she just said, I'm terrified. Everything's getting worse. It's COVID. I, I'm stuck at home. And mm -hmm. I explained her that's from the body. And she said, you know, that kind of makes sense because all this analysis and mind stuff just never gets to the root of it. It's just a Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. So she went through it, and about four weeks in, she sent me a message, and she said, you're right, it's the body. And she, was the, she sent me a message. She said, I woke up for the first time since college feeling truly calm. And this was during COVID. She was the calmest she'd ever been during COVID because she was able to make uh, her body calm, and she could handle the pressure of COVID. So it's hard for, you, for your audience to wrap their heads around it. But a few of your yeah. listeners will go, this makes a lot of sense. Now, here's the other reason it makes sense. Here's the other clue, the Scooby-Doo mm -hmm. clue that's going to make this <laughs> stupidly obvious. Okay. All right? So we go to the body. We start looking in the body as engineers. What's causing all this fear? What's causing all this right. fear? Now, the right. beauty of the body is it's simple. The body is kind of mechanical. You've got... You know, the skeleton is mechanical. Your arteries are sort of mechanical. Your heart is just a bunch of plumbing. The body is much simpler than the mind. Nobody understands the mind. It's like a million yeah. trillion synaptic pathways and neurons. But the body is quite, has systems in it. And we can understand certain systems in the body. So we said, is there a system in the body that's creating all this fear that's maybe like the tooth, kind of fragile and out of whack? Mm -hmm. And once you ask the right question, if you're an engineer – you get the answer. So here's the quiz that'll reveal all. Are you ready? Okay. Ho yeah. But before you do, let's pause here because I don't want to interrupt you when we're in the middle of the quiz. This is important because we need this right now because I'm telling you, I'm feeling anxiety and I know a lot of my people are feeling anxiety. So we need this. All right. So stay tuned, everybody. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Hi. I'm Melissa Caprio from Postcards to the Universe, creating the life you crave. Do you believe in magic? What if I told you all you had to do was get a little creative and work a dream spell to bring anything you can imagine into your life? Well, guess what? I've got the spell for you. Postcards to the Universe, a global movement for manifestation, is a casting magical tool for you to use whenever you want. How does living in passion sound to you? Join me in my movement where you get to create in the magical playground. Let's think outside the box and do some playful conjuring. By casting out our desires with a manifesting postcard, we explore our hearts and allow the alchemy of our dreams to appear. And don't forget to tune in each week here on Ohm Times Radio with my show, Postcards to the Universe, Creating the Life You Crave at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. 
I share tips on creativity, abundance, and prosperity, and you will be introduced to the coolest guests, trailblazers, mystics, and creatives who enrich our lives. Welcome back, and if you're just joining me, I'm speaking with Daniel Packard today, and we're talking about anxiety and fear um, that we hold in our body and how to deal with that. And Daniel's come up with a system. He's a, got a med, uh, mechanical engineer background, a system that helps us uh, deal with the anxiety in our bodies so we're not manifesting that. And I was saying right before the break that we really need this right now because, uh, you know, a lot of people are feeling some serious fear and anxiety right now. And you can feel it in your body and, you know, and then it translates into the mind. And, you know, we're telling ourselves worst case scenario stories, you know. So let's talk, talk to me about that quiz. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, I appreciate it. And, and you're very teachable. And what you said is simple but big. It starts in the body and spreads to the mind. And the reason it's important is because at least we're in the right place. And okay. I'm going to tell your audience the place in the body that's creating the fear and anxiety and why it's doing it. And trust me, it's not your past, so you can't blame mm. your parents. Sorry, I okay. know it's fun, but it's not your parents' fault. And right. It's not the other <laughs> political party all right. It's you, and I'm going to tell you why. But I just have okay. to say something important before I proceed, which is this is great. This is understanding, but understanding mm -hmm. doesn't help people, and I really care about helping people. And so mm -hmm. uh, I encourage everybody, if you want to learn more, just look up my name, Daniel Packard, and, again, I'm going to give you this free training so you can feel this for yourself, and that's what okay. matters most. Uh, you right. can go to my website. There's info I'll mention at the end. But for right now, okay. I want to show you again – something super obvious sitting right under everybody's nose, literally, that okay. sort of shows that fear and anxiety is starting in the body. Okay. okay. So here's inner mechanics lesson number two. Lesson number one, fear and anxiety don't come from the mind. They come from the body. Inner okay. mechanics lesson number two is so much of what people struggle with, whether it's anxiety, procrastination, perfectionism, people-pleasing, and low confidence. Those are mm -hmm. not individual problems. Those are all individual symptoms of one thing, mm. which is fear. It's mm. not just anxiety, which is procrastination. You can call right. it procrastination, or you could say you have a fear of starting and finishing something. Sure. You could say you're a perfectionist, or you could say you're afraid to make a mistake. You could right. say you're a people pleaser, or you could say I'm afraid people won't like me, so I want every I'm going to put everybody first. And you right. could say you have low confidence, or you could say you're just afraid to be your natural, too authentic self. So can you see, to simplify things, that all, almost so many of the things that people struggle with are just symptoms of one thing, which is fear. Does that sort of make sense? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're not taught that. So if you have procrastination, you're getting all these symptom management tools because they never address the root cause, which is fear, which is what I'm going to show you how we're going to do now. Okay. First of all, pop quiz to you, Melissa, and your audience. Hmm. What is the root cause of fear? Is it the other political party, B, your mind, or C, your body? What's the actual root cause of fear that you're learning about? Well, before I spoke with you, I would say <laughs> my mind about <laughs> the other political party, but I have a feeling the answer is fear. I mean, is my body in fear in my body is first <laughs> yes. because of what you're telling and me. It, okay. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not just telling you this because I'm another white guy telling you some theory. All this right. is the theory that solved my fear and anxiety and helps us. Okay. And, and it's why we have 90% success rate. And it's why we only make people pay at the end when they get results. We're the only people in the world that back up our results like that. It's because we're in the right location. So now okay. the question is, where in the body? And this is so simple. It may make you laugh. Okay. Mm. Take out the word fear. Take mm -hmm. out the word anxiety. And instead, instead, swap out the word nervous. Okay? Let's just say the whole planet is exhibiting different symptoms of feeling nervous. Anxiety okay. is just a lot of nervous. Okay? okay? So, mm -hmm. and we want to know where in the body is what's malfunctioning making everybody nervous. Is it A- the skeletal system, B, 
the dental system, or C, the nervous system? A, B, or C, Melissa, and to your audience? I would say no, the nervous system, yeah. And why, very smart Melissa Gold Stars, to you, <laughs> why would you say the nervous system is making everybody nervous? Why does that make sense? <laughs> Well, right, exactly. Well, it's in the word, isn't it? The nervous system is making everybody nervous. <laughs> it's in the word. It's freaking right in the name. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Yeah, okay. For 100 years, the mental health community has tried to solve this, and they get poor results. Anxiety is on the rise. Suicide's on the rise. Addiction's on the rise. Alcoholism-related death is on the rise. People are more afraid than others. And after 100 years of modern psychology, which, by the way, Freud was a chain-smoking cocaine addict, not <laughs> great, and they're getting these horrible results, and there's a system in the body called the nervous system. The mental health community still says, it's the mind. No, it's not, mental health, quote-unquote, experts. You're in the, the wrong place. System. There's a system in the body that literally has the word nervous. So then how do we... Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. I mean, well, that's where you feel it. Anyway, when I have anxiety, I feel it right in my nervous system. I, I, I already... I know exactly that because, you know, if I'm rushing because I have a deadline and I have feeling that, oh, I got to get this done and, you know, and I have all this anxiety about it, yeah, I feel it right in my nervous system. It, it makes me hyper. Or, you know, I'm doing this. I'm here. I'm not concentrating. I'm, yeah, I'm running on adrenaline. So I can feel it in my nervous system. So what, now that we know that, what do we do to calm the nervous system? Because well, there's got to be an answer. I'll kind of tell you, but <laughs> this is an important concept because okay. it explains why, mm -hmm. why the improvement industrial complex takes a trillion dollars a year. It never solves anything because when you, let's say, have low confidence, what we right. saw is that's just fear. That's your fear because an out-of-whack nervous system. But of course okay. – I spent 15 grand on confidence training and I lacked confidence and build yours. And I was just at the symptom level and I never solved it. So your okay. audience, the anxiety, all that there, there it's right. misnamed. All of it is just your nervous system is out of whack. And here's why. Okay. If your nervous system is healthy, okay. your nervous system is your body's natural threat response system. It detects threats. Okay. If the nervous system is healthy, mm -hmm. you feel a beautiful word, which is safe. Mm, okay. If, however, the nervous system is malfunctioning, it's not solid, it's fragile like your tooth, then mm -hmm. you will start to feel unsafe. unsafe. And when you feel unsafe, you feel fear and anxiety, and then it leads to procrastination, people-pleasing, perfectionism, and low confidence. So to your audience out there, and you, Melissa, mm -hmm. can you sort of see that we don't have all these problems? You have a malfunctioning nervous system that's creating this feeling of unsafety. And then from yes. that place of unsafety, you have all these symptoms. Does that make sense? That does make sense. But now my question to you is, what if you are unsafe? What if you are living in a society now that is unsafe for you to express who you are or who you love? Or what if you live in a war-torn country and bombs are going off outside your door? You aren't safe, right? Physically safe. So how... Does that apply using knowing that it's our nervous system at work here? So it's a good question. First of all, most mm. people, when they feel unsafe, they're not are, unsafe. Barring right. actual physical threat, yes. you yes. are safe. You may okay. feel a little worried, concerned. Right. You okay. may not like the way people are treating you, but that is not a tiger in the room. But Got I have it. clients that come to me and they're sitting trying to Netflix and chill, and it feels like there's a tiger in the room. Or Got if it. you've ever uh, have low confidence and mm -hmm. you have a fear of public speaking, it feels like you're going to die. Nobody has okay. ever died from a bad speech. You'd like right. to give a good speech. So 99% of this fear and anxiety that people feel, you're not it's actually being right. threatened. And you're, right. It's yeah, that makes sense. You it's should feel a little fear or worry mm -hmm. or concern. That's the pressure. But if you're okay. going up to, oh, God, this is really scary, mm -hmm. that's not the outside world. Now. If okay. your life is actually threatened, mm -hmm. truly, then right. yes, you would right. naturally and healthily have that fight or flight. Right. That said, okay. I have a gentleman who came to me for anxiety and perfectionism. He's mm -hmm. an American. And he went, moved to the Ukraine, and he's near the front lines of the Ukraine working wow. in a nonprofit. 
So he, we were having a coaching call and their air raids were going off. Oh so God. if anyone's mm-hmm. allowed to feel threatened and he mm-hmm. said, Daniel, it's incredible. He said, not only is my anxiety practically gone, even though I'm in a war zone, he said, but when the air sirens go off, yeah, I mm-hmm. feel something. It's like a three out of 10, mm-hmm. but it's not, it would normally be a nine out of 10. I'd be having a panic attack. So even right. there, if your nervous system is solid and strong, it can even handle life-threatening situations better. Okay. That makes sense. So then how do we feel safe? How do we make our nervous systems? Like you said, 90 95% of us are, are not in immediate threat and danger. So how do we calm the nervous system and feel safe? So I'll tell you the, 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 the perceptual framework, mm-hmm. but the actual how, and this goes back to what I said, it's the system we develop. It's okay. all the tools in one place and the instructions. It's not a quick, you can't just meditate yeah, it away. Course. You need a root connect. Yeah, You can't yeah, yeah. just do it. You go to an expert that has all the tools and the understanding. That's what the program is. Everything in one place, and by the end, your nervous system is healthy, and you feel a feeling which is really beautiful. I feel it every day. You wake up every morning and you Mm -hmm. just feel grounded, safe. If you woke up every morning, just Mm -hmm. your default, Melissa, Mm -hmm. and your audience member, if you just woke up and your default was safe and grounded, how much better would your life be? Much better. And truthfully, I was feeling safe and grounded. (laughs) Until until yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I'm being 100% honest. I don't hide who I am. But truthfully, I don't feel grounded or safe right now in, in, in what's going on. I don't. And so now I need to figure out how to get back to that with my nervous system to feel safe and grounded again. No matter well, what's going on. Well, I hear what you're on. saying, that you were mm-hmm. calm. Mm-hmm. That you were calm, and then mm-hmm. this thing happened, and you feel un. And it looks yep. like that thing is causing it. But yep. think about it like this. Let's say you have a okay. and it's you need and and you don't need a full root canal, but you're starting to have problems in your tooth. Mm-hmm. And you bite into a let's say a bit of steak mm-hmm. and your teeth are fine. And then mm-hmm. you have a bit of ice cream, your teeth are mm-hmm. fine. But if you put enough pressure on a fragile tooth and you bite into a jawbreaker, you will right. feel pain if you push right. it too much. So I know it still feels like you were calm, but trust Mm -hmm. me, your nervous system was a little fragile. It could Mm -hmm. handle most things in your life, but when it gets really pressured, it can't handle the load and you feel all this fear. And I know Mm -hmm. that because I have people going through this Mm -hmm. program right now. They, Mm -hmm. and I checked, I got a message from one of them this morning Mm -hmm. because we were testing it. I said, let me know how you go, whether your party Mm -hmm. wins or loses their party loss. Mm -hmm. And they said, of course, I'm a little concerned. But Mm -hmm. honestly, they said, I'd be having a panic attack right now if I didn't have these tools to stabilize Mm. my nervous system. So, Mm. but that's good to know, because that's why, like I said, I think it's important that you're talking about this today, because there are a lot of people who are panicking right now. Mm -hmm. And I know from conversations. And if you think it's the outside world, Mm -hmm. you're always going to say, oh, it's the election. If you think it's the carrot, oh, it's the carrot. Oh, it's the food. You're in the wrong place and you never understand how to heal it. And that's the problem with a lot of modalities is they tell you, they say, I had a therapist that said, you know, uh, Mm -hmm. anxiety is on the rise because of teens. Right. Anxiety is on the rise in teens because of social media. Now, it Mm -hmm. looks true. However, I had a client go through our program who was anxious. She had an anxious child, and she said, it's heartbreaking to watch my child go through this. So this client went through our process, and about week four, they said, I am so grateful. And I said, why? She said, not only is my anxiety down by about 80%, but more importantly, my teenager came home. And I asked my teenager, how was your day? And the teenager said, I got bullied online on social media. And my Mm -hmm. client turned to her child and said, how do you feel? And the child, the teenager said, well, I don't like it, but I don't know. It just didn't affect me as much. And the Mm -hmm. parent said, well, why? Why? And the teenager said, because I've been watching what you've been doing at home, and I started using the tools on me, and mm, I'm calm. Yeah, all right. It's so this is a perfect, it's, it's a perfect segue. So talk a little bit about what the program looks like so that people know, who people, 
who are interested are going, yeah, my freaking nervous system is totally out of whack, right? I'm all over the place. I need, I need help. So, so what would be a, what does the program working with you? Is it a one-on-one? Do you work in groups? Is it through weeks, months? Like, how do you like to do your program? I'll give you the basics just so your audience knows what it is. So they don't think, you know, do I, do I, you know, do I, you know, lick a psychedelic frog? Do I have to dance (laughs) naked under the moonlight? Like I'll tell you how it works. But more importantly, to get people to work with us, people are so skeptical that we always say, it's not about the program. First, at the end, I'm going to give your audience an offer uh, to download this free training called From Band-Aids to Upgrades. Where, okay. they will, where we're going to teach them one of our tools, and you will feel yourself calmer. And then also you get a free coaching call with me after. Oh, That's okay. the best thing for them to do. And they feel that, and okay. th- it's going to give them hope of, oh, my, I had a client last week just go through the 90 minutes and mm-hmm. training, and she said, I haven't felt that level of calm since I was a kid. And mm-hmm. when people feel it working, then they get curious about the program. Sure. Now, the basics of, of the program, it's six weeks. Everything is okay. online. We wanted to make okay. it simple and affordable. So everything's online. And each day okay. uh, mm-hmm. you have some exercises that you do for five minutes a day, about three times a day. So it's a, it, you're doing little exercises. It's built like an okay. inner gym. Okay. And you have all the tools and simple instructions that if you follow these steps, you get the results. Just like if you go to the gym and you do reps, you'll gain muscle and you'll be stronger. If you mm-hmm. follow our inner reps, your nervous system becomes strong and healthy. That's the basics. But again, it's best that people experience this firsthand because people are so skeptical and we say, you know what? We believe in our results. So try this 90 minute free training from band-aids to upgrades and get a result that you can feel. It's not going to completely bring your nervous system back to health, but you'll, you'll have an experience that you can go, Oh my God, Daniel wasn't kidding. This is real. Yeah, and so it gives people it. hope. And then yeah. if you're curious and you want to work with more, great. But this information in this training, Melissa, it's what I wish I knew before mm. I spent $100,000. It's what I wish every human being knew to mm. live a calmer, more open-hearted, more confident life. And also have know how to raise children that are calm and confident. It, therapists don't teach it. Spiritual teachers don't teach it. Religion mm-hmm. doesn't teach it. And it's what I want people to know, and it's totally for free, and it's my gift to the world because I want the world to know this. Well, the world needs it. So people can find it on your website, which is danielpacker.com, right? That's where we can people can go to and, and look at and download the free, the free program just to get an experience of it. Exactly. It's for people that have struggled with what we call the funky five, anxiety, procrastination, people-pleasing, perfectionism, low confidence. Yeah. And you've tried things and it's better, but you want to be free of it so that you can be a happier person, make more money, be a better parent, be a better spouse. And you just want to manifest like a mofo because now yeah. without fear, your heart is much more open. If that's you, yeah, you go mm-hmm. to danielpacker.com and you'll see at yeah. the top, you first, you're going to book a free coaching call with me. When you okay. book that free coaching call, I'm then going to send you. Okay. This video training, 90 minutes, oh, okay. it's called From Band-Aids to Upgrade. Then oh, you're going to okay. listen to that 90-minute training. You're going to learn a ton about yourself, where your fear and anxiety is coming from. Then you're going to apply one of our techniques, and you will feel measurably up to 80% calmer just for that 90-minute training. And then on that free call that you booked, you get a free coaching call where when I hear what your experience with the 90-minute training, I'll then give you some refinements specifically for you so you can get even more benefits in more areas of your life. So that's my yeah. gift to the world, and you can get all that at danielpackard.com. Oh, no, I love that. And I think, I think I'm going to be calling you after the show. <laughs> and we're going to set something up because my nervous system right now is is nervous. Let me just put it to you that way. It's nervous. I'm feeling it, and I know, like, you know – everything is a shock. It was a surprise. We got hit like last minute and just waking up and dealing with everything. So a lot of information is coming in. 
you know, but you're right. Uh, it, it's affecting my nervous system, which has got my anxiety levels up very, very high, which is putting my mind in fear, which I don't want to be in, right? I'm in fear, fearful thoughts. So I feel like it's important um, to learn uh, what it is that you have discovered that works, because you've discovered something that works. It works for you. And, and you and you said you have a 90% success rate, which is really good, actually. I mean, that's a really good success rate, working with clients. And you've worked with how many clients, did you say? Over like 5,000 or something? We worked with 3,000. Not only do we have that track record, again, just in case people missed it, we're the only, there's a million therapists and coaches in the world. We're the mm -hmm. only company in the world you pay at the end when you get the results. And the only reason right. we can have that guarantee is because we get results. And if people say, well, how do you know? You measure it with our app. You know if you've gotten results. Because I'm an engineer. Results matter, Melissa. And yeah. even if it's just to survive the next four years or four lifetimes, right. uh, you, your audience that is struggling right now, whether it's the election or just mm -hmm. life, or just you life, don't sorry. have to live with fear and anxiety. I had a client just recently who went through the hurricane in, in Houston, mm -hmm. and she said it was creepy. Everybody else was terrified. She says, I was worried, but I was calm. So mm -hmm. you don't have to live through what you're living through right now in fear. You can be calm in all this so that mm -hmm. you can show up more for yourself and the people that you care about. It's not the election. It's your nervous system. That's my new bumper right. sticker. Right. Well, like you said, if you're in a, I mean, you know, life comes at you and we're always going to be, there's always challenges and there's always things, there's always storms, right? So, so it sounds like what you're teaching and offering people is how to calmly get through the storm, whatever the storm is in your life. It could be a divorce. It could be a move, a loss of a job, you know, the election, an actual hurricane, but whatever that storm is for you, you're showing us how to keep our nervous systems calm. And that's super, super important right now. So, so you've been, um, how long ago did you work, discover this for yourself? 10 years ago, you said? Yeah, we founded the company 10 years ago when I was in a lot of pain with the anxiety and the low confidence. And it took about three and a half years to get the theory down and figure all this okay. out. And then about another two years to mm -hmm. systematize it, meaning it was creating the tools and the instructions in one place and all the testing, mm -hmm. working with thousands of people to test it, to make sure, does this thing work? Because we don't right. want people to try it and fail. When people right. try things and fail, they feel broken and more trapped. And right. I said, I'm only going to bring something to the world that I know if people work the steps, they'll get the result. And so it's really important to us that we tested this. And the whole process of research, analysis, testing, and refinement to get the program, the six-week program where it is now, was a yeah. total of eight. And it's important that people know that yeah. because they'll think, oh, this is, you know, did this guy just come up with this on a mountaintop, you know, while eating Cheetos? Yeah. No. Like, the, <laughs> the beauty of yeah. engineers is we're problem solvers. We're innovators. Yeah. Therapists yeah, and innovators. spiritual teachers and gurus, they teach things. It's helpful, mm -hmm. but they're not devoted, innovative problem solvers. That's why we were able to figure this out is because we really cared and we wanted to get to the root cause. So I'm yeah. done talking because I can go on forever. You can, I'm very passionate about this. <laughs> but look, no matter what. No, I love it. it. Well, tell people uh, how the, uh, the best way to connect with you and, and find you and, and if they want to talk to you, tell them the best way. It's what I said. It, again, everything I've said, probably people think, oh, that makes sense. But you need to feel it for yourself. So go to danielpacker.com. You'll see mm -hmm. it's real clear. You book a free call with me. And then once okay. you book that free call, I'll send you the 90-minute training from Band-Aids to Upgrades where you will learn a ton and you'll learn one of our techniques so you can feel it for yourself. And it's going to give you hope and a ton of insight and possibility of what how good life could be. And then... We'll have our free coaching call, and when I understand your experience with our tools, I'm going to give your audience free coaching to use the tools even more effectively specifically for them, and that's just because I want the world to know this, and I care, and I want to help, and all of that's available at danielpacker.com. Oh, thank you, Daniel. No, you'll definitely be, you'll be hearing, 
You'll be hearing from me soon. Oh, my God. That, this was really good. Um, just what I needed right now today. And I really appreciate you being here with me. And, um, oh, my God, guys. All right. Thanks for listening to Postcards to the Universe with Melissa, creating the life you crave. And I'm wishing everyone a wonderful week filled with joy, abundance, and love. Peace. Peace.